when Cameron he was born, I had a cesarean. He was a bouncing baby boy, healthy. But then I first started suspecting when he was about six months because his armpits, I smelt something. But then I honestly started noticing, noticing. He had a few things of pubic hair. And I'm like, this is just not normal. I started to look up and educate myself. I'm like, okay, I needed a referral for an endocrinologist. So I went to primary care doctor, got the referral. So that's where I met Dr. Oyster. The young gentleman had a very early start to his CPP. He was actually nine months old. Now that is extremely unusual. We recently took a look at our own experience and over the past 10 years, we only had four babies under the age of two who had CPP. The most typical age is like six to eight years. And this is nationwide, worldwide? Worldwide, yes, yes. It's like, you know, his testosterone is over 400. Normally they said t testosterone for babies around <clears throat> 10 or he was like at an adult. We didn't start thinking about medications and next steps until he was about the age of one. Dr. Oyster, we was like, okay, let's do injections. They're called GNRH analogs. We used to administer them almost always in the form of a monthly injection, but nowadays we have a three monthly injection, six monthly injection, and we have a little bitty implant that goes right under the skin in the subcutaneous tissue that lasts for at least two years. So a lot of great options, and they're all equally safe and effective. Dr. Oyster gave us this book. The book is explaining precocious puberty. Even though you're three and you might look like you're six, there's nothing wrong with you. And this is how you address that. And I love that book because it put a perspective for my son and then for me as well, you know. And that's all he is. He's just a big loving teddy bear. And people think he's 10, 11 years old, but that's still my baby. And I'm a six. He is eight. When you see him and then you see my 10 year old, you're like, okay. But that's the only difference. You can see that he's just a bigger boy. Right now, height-wise, he's about 4'9". His bone age right now is about the age of a 12-year-old. And so the projected height is about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, for Cameron, which is awesome because before we started any kind of medication, he could get up to 7'1", but then have arthritis at the age of 18. And that's what that's doing, is stop puberty. Hopefully this video will help someone because it is very uncommon. But the advice that I have for any parent is to honestly be open to medications and to be open to different options for your child. And just being his advocate, you know, we can do it as a team and be a team player with your physicians, to the dietitians, to everything, because we want to make sure our children is healthy and stay healthy.